Hey guys, Dial from Dial Video Productions here, and today I'll be doing a basic Final Cut Pro 10 keyboard shortcuts video. Let's get started. Using keyboard shortcuts in Final Cut Pro 10 can make your editing more efficient and can save you time. In this video, I've narrowed it down to 15 basic and some more advanced commands that I think are essential for editors. Let's start off with a few basic ones. First, we have A, B, V, and S. These are very basic commands that allow you to select different tools within Final Cut Pro 10. Let's go ahead and take a look. First, A will allow you to select the arrow tool. Pressing that on the keyboard will select it. This is basically the main tool used in Final Cut Pro 10. This will allow you to select clips and move them throughout the project line. Next, we have B. Pressing B will uh, activate the blade tool, as you can see right here. And this will allow you to cut up the clip in whatever manner you like. And then going back to A will allow you to cut and delete and move clips as well. Next, we have V. V is a very useful command uh, that not many people actually know about from what I've seen. As you can see in this video, we have two audio sources, the audio from the camera and music down below. As you can see, the audio from the camera is very quiet compared to the music. So let's say I want to preview the audio of the camera uh, without hearing the music over it. I can delete the music and bring it back, but then have to render again, or I can simply press V and this will hide the music. Playing the clip now, as you can see, will only play the audio from uh, the camera itself. Pressing V will bring it right back and, be re and we'll be right back where we were. The nice thing about this is this requires no rendering, so it can be done very quickly and seamlessly. Next we have S. Now S is uh, basically what activates or deactivates the what's called skimming tool. Uh, currently this is activated. As you can see, as I move my cursor throughout the project line, uh, the clips are previewed. Pressing S will turn this off. Pressing S again will turn this back on. Now, I found personally that when I'm editing uh, on, for example, my older computer, uh, when rendering, it is best to have this off as this will possibly make your computer a little bit laggy. Uh, but on this computer, however, uh, I like to keep it on. In general, I do recommend keeping it on as it just allows you to preview, uh, preview your clips uh, which for more precise editing. Next, we have Shift-C. Uh, so let's go ahead and select, let's say, this clip. Pressing Shift-C will allow you to crop the clip. As you can see, this opens up the crop menu, and from here we can, let's say we want to crop uh, this, whatever, for example. Uh, pressing Done will basically make that adjustment. And next, we have a very simple command, uh, which is Command A. Uh, what this will allow you to do is select all clips and elements and transitions and text within your project, basically everything. Uh, say you want to move everything or get rid of everything, add an effect to everything. This is a useful but simple command. Uh, let's say we want to undo that cropping that we just did. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't look very nice. So pressing that, uh, doing that, we can press Command Z, that will undo the crop, and pressing Command Shift Z will redo it. Next, we have copy and paste. Now these are two again simple commands, but are very useful in editing. Let's say we have this uh, slowed down clip here of a jump. Let's say we want to play that twice. Select the clip, press Command C to copy, and uh, Command V to paste. As you can see it's made a, a full copy of the video itself. As you can see the copy is also played in slow motion so it literally duplicates this file again. Next we have command X which will allow you to delete a, uh, a clip or cut a clip from the project line. Very simple but useful as well. And next we have command shift F. Now this will allow you to preview or play the project in full screen so let's go ahead and press that command shift F. As you can see, the project now plays right from Final Cut on full screen. This, be, this can be great for presenting or color correcting, moving text, or making precise adjustments to your clip. Uh, next, we have Command 9. This will allow you to show and hide the background tasks. Background tasks is this little window right here, which will show you uh, whether, what Final Cut Pro is doing in the background, basically rendering, importing, or sharing. Uh, especially if you work on two monitors like I usually would, this is very useful to have open on at least one monitor, as this will just allow you to see what is going on in the background. Pressing Command Option 4 will open up Inspector, so let's go and select the clip here. Command Option 4. We'll open up Inspector. Now Inspector is something, uh, especially if you're working on a secondary display or a TV, always have this open as this will have all of your editing options right there and it's just easy to access right from the project line as well. And last but not least we have controlled, uh, Control E which will uh, show and hide precision editors. So let's go ahead and do that here. Control E. There we go. So let's say we add a transition between the clip or if you want to cut a certain area of the clip. This will give you a preview of both clips as you can see uh, left 
being the top clip, right being the bottom clip. This will allow you to basically preview exactly where the transition is between the two clips. This can also be used, like I said, with transitions, text, or anything like that. So that, that about wraps up this video, guys. Uh, these were 15 basic Final Cut Pro 10 shortcuts that should make your editing more efficient and easier. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out some of my more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. Thank you.